Well, Jeff, I really have like got real aggressive right there. They blitzed. Yeah. You know, they, they blitzed right there, and Jackson was able to use his feet right there, roll right, and find Marvante. So we got game on now. And we got a player down for a half block. It looks like, but he's gonna they're gonna keep the play alive here. First down. Here's Schmidt looking. He's going to gun it deep down, looking for Wilson, no. and the pass is intercepted. It is picked off at the one by Jeff Harris. Go. And the season and the hopes of Panther Nation have gone up in flames. Peyton Wilson slams his helmet, takes it off. Yeah, right there, Jeff. You really got to see Jackson Schmidt. He, they got a flag right there. The interception made by Jeff Harris. Orange is going to be penalized for taking the helmet off on the well, field of play. Well, that's fine. I mean, that doesn't really matter anyway. It doesn't but matter. They're kids. These are high school kids getting 14 a little to seven, half lock with the lead. And but they, they, the whole that whole possession right there on those three plays, they were rolling coverage out to Peyton to double team him right now. And Jackson, I don't know whether he just didn't. You know, I don't have a problem in the world with throwing a ball to your best player. No. But at the same time, you know, you that play that you had right there, you had so many more options. You could throw something over the middle of the field right there. You know, you really could have. And um, they're not going to beat Jackson Schmidt up. But would like to see maybe there was 30 seconds left. You had the ball on the 30-yard line. There's plenty of time to do things like that. And he forced it a little bit into Peyton right there in the double coverage. A knee taken. And... Pat Moser takes a step out into the field, and his coaching career here at Orange is over. A fantastic career that revived the Orange football program. And the season comes to an end as Orange falls a touchdown short, and the Panthers are heartbroken. Tears flowing from some of the players. Stone Edwards. Walking off the field, and Pat Moser, the man who led Orange after the Panthers only had one winning season from 1992 to 2008, leading Orange to its fifth consecutive 10-win season. But the Panthers, as dejected as you can imagine, Falling here tonight in a hard-fought game, a rugged war against Havlock and the Rams for the second time in five years in the Panthers' season. 14-7 the final score in a great game here tonight at Almond Stadium, one that had a lot of things we didn't expect. It turned into the lowest scoring game for both teams this season. Orange's defense, very, very good, but Havelock's running game was just a little bit better. And we're going to pause here for a timeout. You're listening to HillsboroughSports.com. A friendly welcome awaits one of the great public golf courses in North Carolina. Okanichi Golf Course is proud to be the home course for the Orange Panthers and the Cedar Ridge Red Wolves men's and women's golf teams. They're open to the public with memberships starting as low as $200. Okanichi is a locally owned third generation family business with some of the best champion Bermuda greens in the area. Visit Okanichi.com for more information or you can call 919-732-3435 to schedule a lesson, purchase gift cards or learn more about tee times and come meet me at Okanichi. Angie, your purse looks great. Where did you get it embroidered? Oh, thanks. My family got it for me at Happy Stitches in Hillsboro. It was a surprise for my birthday. It looks so professional. Does Happy Stitches do only purses? No, they monogram t-shirts, bags, stickers, coolers, beach bags, magnets, even Christmas ornaments. You name it, they do it. Perfect. With the holidays coming up, I've been looking for something for my Christmas tree. I'll visit Happy Stitches today. Call Wendy Allison at Happy Stitches today. Call 919-644-8455. That's 919-644-8455. 
Count on the experts at Goss Pump Specialists for all your filtration system and well pump installation needs. Goss Pump Specialists has been serving Durham and surrounding areas for over 65 years. They install all types of well pumps and filters, including reverse osmosis systems. They also sell, install, and service a complete line of quality water softening and conditioning equipment, including chemical-free filters. Mention this ad and you'll get $50 off your next project. Call Goss Pump Specialist at 919-477-3222. That's 919-477-3222. Or go online at GossWellPumpSpecialist.com. The Carolina Hilltopper Lacrosse Program is a proud sponsor of HillsboroughSports.com. They've been teaching the game of lacrosse to young men in Orange County for over six years with great results for many players who enjoy successful high school and collegiate careers. 49 players have played with the Hilltopper Lacrosse Program, then gone on to play at NCAA schools in the last five years alone. If you want to play select lacrosse with veteran coaches, check out HilltopperLAX.com and register for the upcoming fall season. There's a lot of bitterness and a lot of sadness here tonight. It's like that any time a season ends, but it's a little more pronounced with this Orange team because this squad felt like they were the ones. They felt like this would be the team to win a state championship in football, especially after they defeated Southern Durham so thoroughly, 49-7. to you had a sense tonight that the Panthers had to prove it against the number five team in the state, and Orange did prove it to an extent, but in the end, Havlock's running game was a little more efficient than anything Orange has faced this year. And the Rams are moving on, and they will go back and play a conference rival and try to avenge its only loss of the season next week when they take on Wes Craven, who defeated Orange here tonight, or defeated Eastern Alamance here tonight. Orange is going to be left wondering what might have been with a few less turnovers in a game that had a lot of momentum shifts both ways throughout the course of this game. Orange falls here tonight, 14-7 to to Havelock. And Havelock dancing off the field, going right past the Orange huddle, where a group of dejected Panthers suffers its first loss of the season. Orange falling to 12-1 and one to end the year. Havelock it is going to move and prove to 12-1. and one. And it's not just the mere end of a season for Orange. It's the end of an era with Pat Moser, the man who revived Orange football, announcing his retirement before the season. And what Pat Moser has done for this Orange program can't be stated merely in terms of wins. No, nah, Jeff, it really can't. And uh, the thing about Coach Moser, and I don't know, you might know his record. I don't know his record, but um, it's it's got to be. I can't think that he has lost ten games. Has he lost ten or fifteen games? And how, how long has he been the coach? Well, he lo he lost nine his first season here. It took yeah, some okay. Time well, to I mean, build. after you know, once the once he got a staff, I mean, it was just they were always nine and one, ten and one. You know, yeah. Like this year, they were eleven and zero, and he's just a, uh, you know, he's just built a tradition here. Yeah, and um, sure. the worst thing about it, which I'm still going, I'm still going to go on record and say, 52 years old, I'm still, not, I got to see it before I believe that he'll retire. But um, well, Eric Valines has tried to talk him out of retiring, but yeah, well, Eric Valines can talk a lot of people out of doing things, so <laughs> so he'd be a good as good one as anybody. But really, I mean, the whole team, you know, Orange High School in this area, it's not like we're blessed with tons of unbelievably God gifted football players, and it comes from we heart. Are? No, not really. I mean, it's what I just see the last three months here. Well, well, I'm saying, okay, okay, I understand that, but you're not getting guys six foot five who run four two forties and things like that. Okay, what 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 they really do in Hillsborough, right? It starts at the level of Stanford. Is they really they coach the game and they're smart individuals and good coaches in this whole area who build these players up, teach them how to play the game of football, and. You know, like I heard Wes Craven's got nine, ten Division One prospects. Yep. Okay, the Orange doesn't have that, they, and they never have. No, they never have, have had that. But what they do is they are schooled in the game of football, and you get your Peyton Wilsons and Stone Edwards and Garrett Clores and guys like that. But, you know, this, this area right here really 
coaches the game of football very well from the junior high level all the way up through here. And it shows on this field right now. You know, Stanford, junior high, never loses a game hardly. You right. Know? And Orange never loses a game hardly. You know, and it's a culture here. Hopefully, my point being with Coach Moser leaving, I hope he doesn't take the culture with him. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. I hope that's the thing that he's planted in this community that will stay. Yeah. And right now, Peyton Wilson is – so broken up about this loss that he can't stand to be in the huddle. He's having to take a few steps away from the team. And a lot of great players played their final games here tonight. Stone Edwards ending his career, a remarkable career for Orange. Jackson Schmid, Ryan Puckett also ending his career. Keyshawn Thompson, 4.2 GPA, ending his career. Devondre's Moore ending his career. Alex Long, Chris Eubanks. Jalen Jones ending his career. Jordy Farrington, another valuable part of that linebacking core. Blake Taylor, the center. Darrell Edwards, who had to ship to the offensive line this year. Alec Dement, Shea Hoffman, Josh Smith Breeden, all those players ending losing their a lot. career. They're losing a lot this year. Yeah, right? they're losing really... a lot. And Orange will have to stack up again. But right now the pain is real. It is evident. And it hurts. Yeah, and Jeff, just going back to the game like that, I th really think Havelock – with the holding penalties and the things that they struggled with, you know, they gave Orange the opportunity Orange needed, you know, now, and they just, you know, took them a while to try to capitalize on some of those things. But these are, these are two very even football yeah. teams. I mean, Havelock's ranking is well-deserved. So is Orange's. Wes Craven out there going to play them. But Orange belonged here tonight. And I really thought – that they had a good legitimate shot at winning this game, but you know, really Havelock there in the in the in the fourth quarter that that what was that second and nineteen, and they got a first down. Yeah, that was, that was the critical play of the game. The to me. first touchdown when Orange didn't go for. I've seen Coach Moser kind of like a riverboat gambler. He'd go for a lot of fourth downs. I was surprised he didn't go for that fourth and one. And on the first Havelock's possession four, of yeah, the game. I don't know. It, it, Havelock's forty-one there, and they punted the ball, and then Havelock went down for their first score and things like that. And, you know, games where the, the talent level is so close and see, they're so evenly matched, little bitty things like that can make a huge difference. Yep, and that's what made the difference here tonight as Orange falls to Havelock, and the Panthers' season is over. Second time in five years that Havelock beats Orange. 14-7 to the final score, and so Orange will, and they're still meeting, and Right now the players are exchanging hugs. It's a very difficult time to end the season. Orange thought that this was the time for them to move on to the final eight, but they can't extinguish the demon from way out east. And the Rams this time came to Hillsboro, and they ended Orange's season here tonight. Well, Jamie, it was fun doing the games with you this year. Tell you what, three months goes by very quickly. It does go And one thing is he's texted me about 100 times. One of our probably our most faithful listener, Douglas Ryan Dickerson. That's right. I just got to say hello, Macy, hello, Miles, hello, Zach, hello, Jacob. Now go to bed. It's too late for y'all to be up. <laughs> but he's been texting me, telling say that's just some of his children, so I just want to say hello to them. Well, we want to thank everyone for listening all season here to Orange High Football, and we're going to be back at you next week for basketball. Get ready for Life on the Hardwood with Orange. We're going to have Orange and Cedar Ridge broadcast here throughout the winter, and we'll have coverage all throughout the school year. Thanks for listening to Orange Football this season here on HillsboroughSports.com.